Welcome to this statistics tutorial and in this part of the tutorial I will show you how to get your data from Microsoft Word into Microsoft Excel and then how to prepare the data in Microsoft Excel for import into IBM SPSS 19 which is the name of the statistical software we will use to actually run the analysis of the data. Okay, so the PC that I'm using runs Windows 7 Professional and Microsoft Office 2007. It may look slightly different if you have an older operating system or if you have a different version of Microsoft Office, but the general principle will be the same. Okay, so the first bit we need to do is open the Word document that contains the data and I've already opened the location where I've saved it and then I just double click to open the file that I want to work on. Okay, so um, all of the data for the study is in a single table in Microsoft Word and I now want to copy this data into Microsoft Excel. So to copy the data, put your cursor anywhere in the table and then on your keyboard press the control key, hold it down and press the letter A to select all. So I've just done this and it highlighted in blue all of the data and now I want to copy it. To copy on your keyboard press the control key and the letter C for copy at the same time. So this has now copied the data onto a virtual clipboard and now I would like to transfer it to Microsoft Excel. So I need to open Microsoft Excel. So you go to the start bar, open Microsoft Excel and then what we want to do is use paste special rather than simple paste. So you single right click on the empty cell that is highlighted in this workbook, uh, select the option paste special and then the option text. So the reason why we only want to paste text is that Microsoft Word contains formatting information and this formatting information is not needed in either Excel or in SPSS later on but it causes problems. So to get rid of those problems from the beginning we just paste the text. So select text and then say OK and now we've got all of the data in the worksheet in Microsoft Excel. So now we want to prepare this data for import into IBM SPSS 19 which is a statistical package we will use and there are a couple of rules. So in SPSS each row corresponds to one observation and for this study an observation is the same as a participant. So what this means is that we do not need a specific column to indicate which participant the data was taken from. So what I want to do is delete the participant column here. How you do this is you move your cursor over the column you want to delete. So A, single left click that highlights the column, then single right click to get the context menu up and then choose delete and that will get rid of this column. Next rule in SPSS is that you can only have a single row that contains column headers and that row must be the first row. Uh, so what we can't have is this kind of double header which we have in the file at the moment. So I also want to delete row 1 and to delete a row you click on the row index which is number 1 here single left click, then single right click to get the context menu up, choose delete and that gets rid of that rule. So the third rule for SPSS is that column headers which are now in the first row cannot contain spaces or symbols. So what we need to do is replace all spaces and symbols with something else. But before I start doing this I just want to expand the column width so that I can actually read the content of each column properly. So the quickest way of doing this is to uh, use the rectangle in the top left between column A and row 1, single left click on that rectangle, then move your mouse cursor over any column boundary until you see a double sided arrow and then double left click to expand the column width so that all content is shown. So I'm double clicking now and now I can actually read what the content is. So now what I want to do is for all of these column headers I want to replace all spaces with an underscore. So I'm going to select where I want to do the replacement then I go to find and select and choose the replace option. In the find what I type a space so I'm just pressing the space bar once and then I want to replace this with an underscore. So the underscore is at the top of your keyboard. You need to press the shift button and then press the button next to the plus and equal sign button and that will give you an underscore. And then click replace all and that will replace all of the spaces in the selected cells. Okay. Uh, 
Um, so what I still have now is I still have a forward slash uh, in the no tab and brace column and I'm going to replace that uh, with some text so I say underscore or brace and then I will expand the column width again so that I can read all of the column headers in full. So move your mouse cursor over the rectangle, single left click, move the cursor over any column boundary until you see a double sided arrow and then double left click to expand. Okay, so that's the major bit done, but actually what we want to do once we start the statistical analysis is we want to check some assumptions about our data. I explain that in the next part of the tutorial, but what we need to do next is calculate the difference between the postural sway that was measured without tape or brace and the postural sway that was measured for each of the individual taping and strapping techniques. So I have five here in columns B to F. And <coughs> So what I want to do is add five columns that contain the difference between the two measurements. So I'm first going to copy these labels to the next free column. Um, and then I precede each of those labels with um, difference, nothing, if I could spell. <laughs> and then the name of the particular taping or strapping technique. So I'm going to copy the difference nothing underscore and just um, precede each of the names of the taping and strapping techniques with difference nothing to indicate that this is now the difference calculation. And then I will expand the column headers again so that I can actually read the full content of each column. Okay, so again, move the mouse cursor over the rectangle, move your cursor over a column boundary when you see the double sided arrow double left click okay, and now we need to enter a formula to actually calculate the difference between the postural sway measured without any tape or brace and the postural sway measured with a particular taping or strapping technique so how you do this in Excel is you enter you click on the cell where you want to do the calculation and you press e, the equal sign on your keyboard and that tells Excel that you now want to do a calculation and the calculation we want to do is we want to take the postural sway measured without tape or brace and then subtract um, the postural sway measured with a particular uh, taping or strapping technique. And how you do this is you say take this value, which is the no tape or brace condition, postural sway, and then subtract, so use a minus sign, uh, the next value, uh, which is the postural sway measured with a particular taping or strapping technique. So I would like to calculate always the difference between no taping or bracing and a particular technique for each participant and also for each technique. So basically what that means is I will always use the values in column A. So I need to fix uh, the formula so that it always uses column A. To do this, highlight A2, which is the reference to this column A and the row 2 at the moment, and then on your keyboard press F4. It will insert dollar signs, and dollar basically means fix this. So at the moment it's fixing column A and row 2, but I just want to fix column A, so I will toggle. Toggle means I repeat the same thing, so pressing the key uh, F4 as many times as it takes to give me the option I want. So I press it again. This will now fix the row number, but I want to fix the column number, so I press it again. And now it's inserted the dollar sign just before the column um, index which is A and that's what I want. So uh, now I have fixed the column where it reads the no tape or brace value from and now I can press enter because that completes my calculation. Now I want to copy this formula that I've entered in this column all the way down and the quickest way of doing it is to um, double click on the fill handle here uh, which is a little square in the bottom right of the cell uh, and that will copy it down and then I want to copy this formula across all the way so that it calculates the difference for each of the five techniques and then I just quickly check that the calculation is correct click on any cell uh, click in the formula bar and that will highlight the cells that I used in the calculation and I just check that it's using the measurement without taping or strapping and then subtract the um, postural sway measured with a particular taping or strapping technique and this is correct so that's fine, so I press enter and then I save my file, you can save it any way you like and I'm just gonna call it raw data and in the next part of the tutorial we will read this data into IBM SPSS and do the statistical calculations so name your file and press save